Hello, folks. Richard Moore, USA, GSA. And today I've got April Medcalf with me from the Lowndes County, Mississippi area. I've had April on here before, and we did a story about her sister, Rebecca Baumgartner, that she was a YouTuber, Lowndes County Accountability. I'm going to put that link in the description. And because Rebecca was exposing corrupt law enforcement, she was subsequently set up, targeted, and set up by a sting unit. It was a bogus, propped up deal. She went to, she was arrested for a sales charge of methamphetamines, three charges. She had a four day trial. It was a dog and pony show. She had a, a capable court appointed lawyer, but then they appointed her a second lawyer, um, Jim Wade and people of Mississippi, and he is a, a top-rung, high-dollar lawyer. I mean, it's thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 minimum on a retainer. But he took, he didn't know Rebecca. Two counties away, or one, two counties away, he takes her case pro bono. And you, you would think, well, she's got a bell ringer here. It was all a farce. This whole deal was propped up. The attorneys, the prosecutor, the sheriff's department, and probably the judge in on this deal. And they had a jury there. And, of course, the jury I shouldn't have known that this whole deal, the evidence was man testimonies manufactured. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. And so the girl that testified, and we want to articulate this might not have last time. We're going to talk about a few things about Lowndes County. Uh, Deanna Gaddis was the person that testified against Rebecca, saying it was Deanna that got on the stand. Deanna sold drugs. She's a snitch. We know she's a snitch. She's, we've got, we've got, uh, all kinds of information that take her snitching back a couple of years prior to this court date, her and her husband. So the snitch says that, and she sells the dope to another snitch, which is, which is, uh, what's her name? Tanya Blanton. Tanya Blanton. I've got her CI number right here and her snitch report. So we got one snitch selling dope to another snitch three times. Rebecca ain't got nothing to do with this. She knows them. She ain't got nothing to do with this. She lives in the trailer park. Lives in the trailer park with them. <laughs> and so the Gaddis girl said that Rebecca Bumgarner told her to sell the drugs. So mm -hmm. based on that, they charged Rebecca with a sales charge. Now, she had two real good lawyers. I believe it. Uh, April, you or me, or just a random person off the street could have done a little better than this. <laughs> four days. I don't know what they did for four days, but this was the three sales charge, and she testified to that. And then the other snitch testified that she, what did she say? I bought, yeah, I bought the drugs. Um, I'm really not sure. I don't What's want to quote on that yeah. because I'm not sure. She said a lot of stuff that right. wasn't true. It was basically not all jail, lies. Is she is not. She's still and actively is snitching. Deanna Gaddis. No. And she's no. got serious charges, her and her husband, with possession and child endangerment, had their children. Sales. Taken, sales, charges, sales charges. Children taken a couple of times by CPS. And she claims she's on probation or something. I don't know. Non adjudicated probation, she's not nothing. A slap on the wrist, and what she did, ladies and gentlemen, two sales charges is, is what they is the thing unit, the task force, Lowndes County Sheriff's Department had Deanna Gaddis tell that lie. It's perjured testimony. Scott Cologne, the prosecutor, there's no way that Scott Cologne didn't know that was perjured testimony. Right. Well, so, I mean, so they, it's all deal was based on a lie. And this is hopefully going to be the premise of, of, a of getting a, a new trial or getting her case, uh, 
the set aside and or what have you. Because mm-hmm. uh, if it can be proven, which it can now, the way I understand it, that Deanna Gas, in fact, lied on the witness stand. Had she not lied on the witness stand, the jury would never come to a guilty conclusion. Right. That's Richard, it. can I just interrupt you for just a second? Yeah, I wanted absolutely. to let I you know. To. When I when when my mother and I just went up here recently to the circuit court building uh-huh. in the documents that they did allow us to see, they are allowing us to inspect all the paper copies, but they refuse to show us the sale videos with supposedly Rebecca actually selling the drugs. And, okay. Before you that yet or I, I talked to a lawyer and he said that since it's in appellate court. The case has gone to appellant court right. and it's at that level that it is true that they um, are not the the exhibits, i.e. the video footage right. of the sale, actual sale is not um, available yet. publicly available. So you talked to the attorney a, I told you to call. I did. Good, I did. Okay. Yes, he's the one that told me that. Right. And I asked him if I could. Um, I did ask. I haven't gotten a response from him yet. I asked him if I could hire him to get a court order to go yeah. ahead and view those. That way we do have the entire story. Yeah. And we can show the public the, the truth. No matter how bad the video footage yeah. is, I noticed in the um, transcripts that my mother and I were able to inspect. And I I have copies of a lot of a lot of it, but I right. just wanted to reiterate right there where you were about the court. You know, we were talking about Becky's trial uh, being such a dog and pony show, and, and 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 Deanna Gaddis's testimony being purge, perjurious. Um, I have right here, and I don't know. Um, I didn't get this far in law school or in uh, legal studies at the W, but I uh-huh. did get so far, and I don't know what the standard or what the you know what they're supposed to do in a courtroom as far as the judge refusing or withdrawing jury instructions now a jury is just lay people like me and you so they don't know they're not expected to know the law so they have to know certain instructions from the court i don't know and guidelines to go by okay so that's why they have jury instructions well i noticed there was more withdrawn and refused, and I'm going to find out yeah. how Michelle Easterling can do this. But I just want to read you one since we're on okay. Deanna. This is All the right. jury instruction in the trial, in Becky's trial, uh, that was refused and signed, refused in blue ink by Michelle Easterling, and she signed it. And I'll send you a copy of that too. But it's jury instruction, okay, that was refused by Michelle Easterling, and it's and it says Deanna Gaddis is an alleged co-conspirator who has charges pending against her. Therefore, you are to consider Gaddis's testimony with caution and weigh it with suspicion. Uh, now, why absolutely. was that? <laughs> did she tell the jury that? She did not. It was refused. It was refused. Oh, okay. By the judge. Yeah. Well, so I don't I- know if they can say that or not. I mean, if you're a convicted felon, a, an attorney can bring it up and they, they can call you a liar and everything else if you take well, the stand. If you don't, they can't. So, I, But she's taking the stand. She's not convicted. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's just letting them know. It's not saying that she's anything. It just strictly so says... So it seems to me like the judge tried. She No, she didn't. She refused to give the jury this instruction that told well, them to beware. That, that wrote on, that, who you know, who was it that wrote that part that she refused to put it in there? The court. In the circuit court of the 16th judicial, I understand district. that, but an attorney must have submitted that or something if it wasn't her idea to say that. Right. So, so refuse. that must be what it is. Like certain, but I mean, all that is is letting the jury know who Deanna is. I mean, I don't see why that was refused. I mean, anything. Uh, well, that her lawyer should have brought that up. Her lawyer should have brought up all these arrests. And I think it was it was refused. You know what I mean? Like that well, was refused. That, that's uh, and that's what I, I told Rebecca that uh, I believe it's a 2255 ineffective assistant counsel. And that's, uh, that's a slam dunk. Mm-hmm. She was not properly represented. I don't care how, I know they wanted a good show and they wanted to look good. This is a first amendment, a constitutional rights violation, ladies and gentlemen. This is mm-hmm. someone that an alternative media news reporter that's doing audits, that's filming the police. They don't like it. They don't like her. They want to shut her up. Right. Now, we're in the dirty south. 
I promise you, I've sued them in federal court five times, different sheriff's departments and municipalities. And they put me in jail for a year and a half, no bond, just because they could. That's the way they get down in Mississippi. Right. And they did everything to destroy this old boy here. Everything. That was what it was. And, and, and they'll keep doing it. But until they destroy me, April, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and try to destroy them. So, uh, that's all right. So, we've got, uh, oh, uh, that this Deanna girl, just for so we can, uh, stay on point with this. On, uh, the day that Rebecca was arrested, there's three trailers in this trailer park, the sting unit, the Metro SWAT team, task force, whatever they. If we've got video footage of that, and that's the three stooges could never be as hilarious as this. They're dropping <laughs> stuff. They, they've got they've got shields, batons, helmets. You ain't never seen that. I mean, you see it on fire TV. extinguishers. And Detroit or, and fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. <laughs> and see it in New York or maybe Atlanta, or Columbus, <laughs> Mississippi. It's three trailer parks. Ain't nobody in there weigh over hundred pounds, and so they they just whole <laughs> army up and they and they're creeping up on them all directions. No good and well they didn't have guns, uh, automatic uh, none of that stuff, dynamite, C four explode, none of that crap. It was all BS, and this was something for local news, WCBI. You talk about fake news. If you if you ain't got anything to do, they just won't hear somebody babble. Turn on WCBI. They ain't talking about nothing, and then pick up uh, the newspaper. And uh, they's not. Everybody knows the news before that thing ever hits. They and they only print what the sheriff tells them to print. There is no alternative story. That's right. There is no other side. There'll never be another side. So they arrested uh, this uh, Deanna and her husband. Uh, Meth pipes, three firearms, pills, and meth. And uh, let's see how many kids they have in there. Two. Two kids. Two children. Yeah. And so, so uh, they uh, so they got arrested. This is not the first time they've got arrested and CPS got their kids. This was a year before they, they went to trial. That Deanna still, her and her husband, they've got her, their kids, of course. And new one's done a day in jail. And so they're holding her kids and all right. this stuff over her head. She's a, a, a loser, a loser, loser, loser. They keep getting wrecked, both of them, and they're putting their kids in it. I don't know why they give them their, their kids back the after, first time. Second time, they, they still got them back. I'm going to tell you, law enforcement and CPS, April don't care about the kids. That, that's just talking points. Right. That's talking points. If they cared about the kids, they, if they cared about the kids, they would have got the kids they out when the they kids. were investigating. They knew the kids were Nationwide, being. That's why CPS you know, the, the, loses a hundred thousand yeah. children a year. They can't account for it where they're at. Okay, <laughs> they have no idea. Hundred thousand a year. Well, they'll be talking about that on the news, but they're not. Where are these kids going? They don't care about the kids, especially Lowndes County. That we, I've already done uh, specials on the fact that this sting unit used 14-year-old kids, a girl and a boy, letting them use drugs. Their mama was a snitch. Their aunt was a snitch and all this stuff. Their grandmama was a snitch. I mean, a long line of the okay. local family of of card carrying rats and they're getting high in motel rooms and trying to hem up adults and they're trying to get them staying in a sting deal, pimping them out. There you go. Right. So they don't care about the kids. And so is any one of they give the kids back to them. And so they want Rebecca. They can't catch Rebecca selling drugs because she wasn't selling drugs. But Deanna says, well, Rebecca right. told me to sell the dope. I didn't need the money. I didn't need to sell it, but Rebecca told me to, so I did it. And somehow that made Rebecca the bad person. And I'm sure 
Oh. Well, I'll tell you what else. I ain't mad. You... I said, bullshit. She's lying. I, mean, I don't want to hear no more. Huh? Right. If anybody knew the backstory, and I did get with Becky today on that, Rebecca, about hers and Deanna's and Richard's history. Yeah. Um, Deanna has motive because Rebecca said. Do what? Um. Re Rebecca slept with Deanna's husband, Richard. And so, oh, Lord. so Deanna at Rebecca uh, for that. But, you know, whenever I would go around there, I would see them acting like they were, seemed like they were fine. And I wondered why, how is that even working? You know, but um, I mean, I have text messages between that. I have raided Becky's both with her, good, ripped them apart. And I have, Lots of stuff that I haven't, you know, lots of cats I ain't let out of the bag. Right. But right. that's one of them, and I wanted everybody that Deanna's you know, motive. a little bit of a, 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 a I've got a perfect Wi-Fi signal. I've got a Wi-Fi thing right outside here. It's hooked to a fiber optic. Uh, I mean, you get too close to it, your body starts getting warm, but it's, it, it, without fail, <laughs> yeah, without fail, we've got, uh, Homeland Security at Fusion Center that's locked on me like a leak and uh, trying to interfere with what we're doing. So yeah. that's yeah, switching a little bit on mine. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully it'll get better. Just a little bit. But they know that uh, they can do yeah. whatever they're going to do. That's not going to stop anything. Um, right. So, <laughs> Scott Cologne, the prosecutor for the 6th District Judicial District, Mississippi. That's what four counties. At three, I'm not four, sure. Three, four counties, six, and he six, two years ago, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, this uh, prosecutor was appointed to a federal judgeship by Joe Biden, and uh, and he was endorsed by George Soros. I we're in Mississippi, folks. <laughs> the buckle of the Bible. <laughs> And George Soros is, is backing this guy, but thank goodness uh, Cindy Hyde-Smith had done a few good things, and that's one thing. She blocked that, and it's still being blocked. And we're doing everything we can with our Brady complaints, and we're going to make bar complaints, the Mississippi bar, and those Brady complaints. Has, has the, have you done the Brady complaint already, April? You know, I, I think it's one done, on there. Um, He's on there. I've seen his face. Six, I think. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I mean, Scott Cologne. Six, I believe. You did a report on Cologne, right? Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Him so and Ben Rush. He's got the, the official DA, complaint DA, in there. Yeah. That was forwarded to Cindy Hyde Smith, as a matter of fact, and the governor and Lynn Fitch, the attorney general, Mississippi. Everybody's got a copy of this. So he <laughs> is putting knowingly and willingly put somebody on the stand with perjured testimony and convicted someone and Rebecca got 24 mandatory years folks not a slap on the wrist this is they wanted to throw her away and they and for all practical purposes that's what they did but the right. crooked sheriff Eddie Hawkins has this task force. It's a multi-jurisdictional task force. They've got DEA, and they got Mississippi Bureau of Narcotics, and you got the locals, and whoever, whatever ass clowns it's in the group. That's their state. Was the Metro at Sting? I mean, they keep changing names, and uh, and, and right. every time they do anything, they have a roundup, you know, and uh, you'd think <laughs> it, uh, we were in Tijuana or something, but it's... Uh, it's always <laughs> bogus. But we talked about two of the members of this thing in it that was members when when they stung Rebecca. <clears throat> and that was uh, Max Branch and Lance Lucky. And believe it or not, those are their real names. I know it sounds like a cartoon, but it's not. Uh, I've lived in the South my whole life. Of course, sir. These are names. I mean, that didn't make any sense to me. I thought it was... Uh, uh, an alias, but apparently it may be an alias. But uh, anyway, so uh, Max Branch and Lance Lucky were 
hemmed up in prostitution and drugs and God only knows what all. We'll never get the whole story. And so the crooked right. sheriff, Eddie Hawkins, uh, had let him go. But now that wasn't in the news. It wasn't in the newspaper. Should have been, but it wasn't. Max mm -hmm. Branch went to right. uh, Scott Cologne, the prosecutor. It, that's right. It wasn't it Scott Cologne? Mm -hmm. As an investigator. Yep. I, I'm gonna finish. He's not with them now. I hear he's with the Mississippi National Guard. Cologne got rid of him. <laughs> but it's too late. He's done it. They mm. had their date. And uh, you can't wash your hands. They shouldn't hire him in the first place. You knew he was a liar. He was co-signed with them lies. And that's how he's getting his conviction. And then Lance Lucky uh, went to the Better Business Bureau. And as a, uh, well, what, what they, I mean, the Better Business Bureau is uh, uh, insignificant. I, I don't know anybody that could care less about the Better Business Bureau, of whether they are members of it or not. <laughs> You know, it's uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a private company, and if a better business, bi better business bureau is mad at you, or you do something else like, so what? It, it, equivalent to the Girl Scouts being mad at you for not buying cookies. So, uh, it's, <laughs> it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. People don't care. Uh, people <laughs> do business every day with crooked companies. You know how I know the largest retailer in the world, Walmart. Okay. People doing business with them every day, and they're ripping people <laughs> off. So, right. But now, right. We we've got uh, another problem that's disturbing to me, and I'd like to uh, maybe some people in Lowndes County can give us a little more info on it. So, uh, uh, at Max Branch, uh, but while he was on the task force, was uh, is he married? Uh, it doesn't matter. Was uh, having he uh, was he got a divorce. Well, I reckon he did. She divorced him because <laughs> what he was doing was uh, and that's the way they do it, in Mississippi folks. If you want to have a ticket or a pipe bomb or anything else, now all you got to do is roll in the hay with them, you know, and uh, and you won't go to jail. Right. And uh, the men don't get to do that. Right. Now they'll uh, the women on the other hand, and so Max Branch is out here. Sleeping with these dope whores and who, whoever else he, these people he's investigating. And uh, not only is he sleeping, <laughs> with them, but that wasn't bad enough. He's giving them gonorrhea. I mean, these people are having to go <laughs> to the health clinic and get treated for gonorrhea. I guess you get treated for it. And uh, I'm just wondering right. how many people on the sting unit, the task force, have got gonorrhea. Is that part of the deal? And uh, and Scott Cologne gets this gonorrhea, typhoid Mary in there, and then he gets rid of him. So uh, that's uh, that's Lowndes County, folks, for you. That's Lowndes County. We wouldn't have. I'm showing him, uh, Richard. Richard, I'm showing him as still being on the up on the website. Max Branch still showing heard, up as the I mean, investigator. I heard the so, um, great band. He wasn't there anymore. So, uh, right, I mean, you know what I mean? Those are, yeah, yeah, so they may not want to admit that uh, they've, they've changed uh, shoes that quick. I don't think he's there anymore, but uh, right, he may not be. Eddie Hawkins, they could, they're out here and people are, are being murdered, and if and not only being murdered, but the cops have murdered Austin Hines. That's one example. So a hundred right. cops that they shot him and finished him off with a shotgun blast. Mm. I've got that couple of videos about it on here, folks. Broad daylight like a dog. And and mm. he had no chance. And the whole family has been targeted. They targeted targeted Austin when he was young, all the way through he was out there at Caledonia and all the way through the deal. They murdered him. One officer Got to leave ass putting uh, wraps on cars. Nothing else happened. Nobody's gone to jail. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it's very, very corrupt. <laughs> but Eddie Hawkins and those people couldn't do what they're doing unless Scott Cologne was co signing with their crimes. 
if Cologne was a straight okay. ace and said, look here, don't bring me no wishy-washy deal. And don't bring me no liar. Right. We're not going to lie right. on the stand. We're not going to stretch the truth. We're not going to stack the deck. If it's right. not what it is, not we're nobody. not going to do it. And that that would make a difference how right. they bring people in. But what Scott Claus tell them is, look, uh, I don't need to know anything. Just give me a good story. Is that the story? Okay. Sounds good. We're going to run with it. Right. Well, it's a damn lie. Because these are uh, all liars. Certified liars. Yes. All of them took sure. oaths. Right. All of them abandoned those oaths. They've forsaken their oaths. They have disgraced their office. They've disgraced this the county, state, yeah. and this country. <laughs> So that's that's what is it's, we got a prosecutor Cologne and what's his uh, lackey that was in there with him? What's that other guy's name? Who's that? Well, Scott uh, Branch. No, or uh, Ben that's Rush. Ben, ben Rush. Rush. We got, got a complaint on him too, right? Yep. Now I, I will. Mm -hmm. I didn't mention that. Now April, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, officially a citizen reporter with a national Brady list, and so. Uh, she is uh is kicking ass and taking names on this deal. So if you know a, a mm -hmm. cop, a sheriff, a lawyer, a prosecutor, a judge, city, state, local, federal, that has done something underhanded, whatever, that have failed to do their job, if you made a report and they didn't do anything, you're dismissed, abuse of power, whatever it is, you can get a hold of uh of April or me. I've, I've got the link in the description there and we'll walk you through exactly what you need to do. It's real easy to make a complaint. And this is how we level the playing field folks. I mean, you can get on right. social media and complain about it, complain about it. And just, well, I'm going to let bygones be bygones. That's where we got the problem now. As people said, well, I'm just going to let it go. Right. I don't have any people in right. Downs County. <laughs> They're terrified, aren't they, April, of those people. There's people in, in mm -hmm. Lowndes County are terrified of that sheriff's department. I've had so many people that... Yeah, that, I actually... Uh, I actually got some... I actually had somebody um, tell me today or got information today about supposedly his ex-wife... Who's? I, I'm not going to say her name. because Max Branch's ex-wife uh -huh. was brought in uh, either brought to the sheriff's department or she was approached by Eddie Hawkins supposedly and um, threatened. And then that's when she, that's just something that I heard today, information I gathered today. Going on down there. But Hawkins yeah, will so, do whatever. So he's he known to, to threaten people. Oh yeah. I mean, he's not, they call him power in the ghetto. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they call when him I did power my before. first video about those people three years ago, Word came to mm -hmm. me from a good source. Somebody got arrested. They come to me. I run into them. And the first thing they asked is, could this person was the subject of one of the videos. Would she work with them to set me up where they could lock me up? Because I said some things they didn't right. like on YouTube, on social media. And so, and I did some videos about that too. So I'm well aware of, of their capabilities. You don't have to be doing anything wrong. They'll, they'll make all that. They'll bring everything they need to bring to the game. All you got to do is be there and breathe, and, and they'll make everything else happen. That's how right. they get down. They're going to keep doing that as long as people keep sitting back and just letting them do it. If we're, we don't intend to do that. So right. uh, Rebecca has got – she's working on something with uh, a filing or something. I don't know what it is for Scott Cologne because Scott Cologne is going to have to make a decision when he looks at the evidence, this star witness, the whole trial hinged on this deal and on that testimony of Rebecca told her to sell the drugs. Mm -hmm. This girl lied. Everything. The only thing she told the truth about maybe was her name. Everything else was a lie. Therefore, mm -hmm. uh, right. we got to do something here. Now, Paul <laughs> said, I didn't know she was lying. I, I, I'm calling his bullshit on that. Of course, he knew she was lying. Right. Of course, right. he knew she was lying. They, in they her initial no, interview, he, he no way, it, her, nobody <coughs> is going uh, <laughs> to 
get out here and sling dope because somebody else told them to. And they ain't no jury going to buy that. I mean, I can go right. rob a bank and say, well, April told me to rob the bank and let me go and put April in jail. Right. I mean, where do they do that at in Mississippi? Right. This is what they pulled off, folks. Mm -hmm. This is what this is what we're uh, exposing. And we're exposing their rats, their snitches, that here creeping and stalking and stealing and setting people up. We're exposing that too. They've got a mad creeping, stalking, and and knocking heads off program in Lowndes County, Mississippi, folks. But I promise you, uh, it ain't like it used to be. We're putting them and keeping them on blast. What else is going on, April? Uh, right. We we um, had, huh? I can't I can't really think of anything um, new that's cropped up other than uh, I don't know. Um, Deanna Regattas had um, reached out to me on one of my social media platforms. It was TikTok Say, actually, and um, and uh, well, I'll just read one three five two two zero two two. That's your CI number. No, no, that's Tanya, Tanya Blanton. Tanya Blanton. That's, that's Tanya Blanton. Yeah, because I don't have a CI number for Deanna. I will so I don't know that she were, uh, it, it was paid. Uh, all that number is, is that Tanya's being paid. So, right. um, but uh, the only other thing I can think of about Deanna is the, the deal message me on TikTok. And after I had posted um, information about her, her testimony, you know, being lies. Yeah. I screenshot. Mm -hmm. I, I screenshotted that, and yeah. she keeps viewing my profile every day and on TikTok. You got block. Also, you got block. It's what these trolls do. It's what they did to me on Facebook. It's what they do everywhere. I know they do on YouTube, but so, they ain't got right. them nowhere, and they, it kills them. But what they yeah, do, so my, what to do, April, is every time French you post actually something, viewed my profile today. <laughs> if you post, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ walked Max on French. water. They report it as hate speech. AI gets it. And, and right, they'll kick you off, and then who knows? These people, these are morons at, at TikTok. That they did, they took my right. Ted Gunderson, FBI right. retired field agent, 30 years after, took that off because it didn't fact check. And I'm like, really? TikTok is gonna <laughs> tell me something didn't fact check. It ain't nothing but endless ocean of stupidity. There's good people on there that have good content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, honey, you have got to wade through some stupidity. Is it If anybody right. is confused about why the world and this country is it and, pe and men it, dresses and skirts on and going in men's back and all this stuff's happening, just get on TikTok and you'll have your answers. About 10 minutes right. and, and you'll know what's happening. That is... Uh, Right. Is, is is where we are today. It wasn't like that uh, that long ago when I was a kid. You know, kids don't uh, they don't go out in the yard. You know, get these uh, uh, young right. boy told me he said he said my generation we're gonna start a revolution. I said I said that's BS. I said your generation can't start a damn lawnmower. <laughs> I don't, how are you gonna start a revolution? You ain't never <laughs> cut a yard. <laughs> you know, they just look at me crazy. Right. Maybe I'm old. Fat. No, that's a fact. That's a uh, that's a fact. But you put something on there about her, right. and they took it down. Uh, no, they didn't take it down. She just had it, sent it to me like as a private message, talk, yeah. and in response to me post, you know, documents and stuff yeah. about her and her husband. Yeah. Um, like. Like she, she said, you know, it's crazy. I got my kids back. The, I done everything I was supposed to do. I took all of their drug tests. I submitted to these people every aspect of my life. I'm not out here on the streets. You lied on witness. Free man. like them. I still have to report. I can't help. This is what she says. I can't help. That was more than your sister's first charge. This is my, that's Deanna Gattis saying this is her first charge. Right. 
And I'm going to stop right there because the rest of it is just bullshit the right. same way that is. Can right. I say that on here? Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you say so you I'll take you back to her previous charge from right. 2019 in Thomasville, Alabama, where we got her and those her charges, Deanna. Were, and Deanna, I know you're listening. Yeah. Yeah. You, you are a loser from way yeah, back. So, okay. Way back. And getting arrested in Alabama and right. and multiple so this, times, Mississippi. You're tricking. For law enforcement, turning tricks. Mm -hmm. and when you got on that stand, you committed a felony. Multiple every time you lied it was a felony. Perjury, it's a felony. Now, that's what we're shooting for. You're not gonna be able to snitch your way out of that. You've done got somebody it's been thrown their whole life is destroyed because you agreed to get up there and tell a lot to save your sorry ass. And your a husband or boyfriend, whatever he is. Right. And them kids that I don't why you want kids. I mean, uh, they took them away from you. Both of you get high, and uh, I don't believe that they're still not getting high. What's that? I don't know if you can see that. I can't see. That's it. just her arrest. I don't know if you can even is see that. that. In Alabama. You, anybody can social. Media. Is that the staying unit? Thomas when they got Time. Rebecca, or is it the one in Alabama? No, this is the one in Alabama. Okay. So there. In Alabama, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, it's a rest booked from, uh, it's online. It's the sheriff's what report year was from that? September the 18th of 2019. 2019. And then 2022 19. is when they arrested her and Rebecca mm -hmm. and everybody out there. In 2023, and she got on the stand. Right. The prosecutor put her on the stand. The sheriff, the staying unit put her up there. Jeff Edmondson and them, them clowns put her up there. They coaxed her and, and, and trained her on everything she was supposed to say. And her high-powered mm -hmm. lawyer, Rebecca's high-powered lawyer, obviously couldn't figure out a way to punch through that. I ain't right. buying it, April. I'm just not buying it. That, <laughs> that, no, that is uh, it left me speechless when I heard and I'm still speechless, how a capable mm -hmm. attorney gets that's supposed to have all this sense Obviously, he had, and I wouldn't have him on a damn jaywalking ticket. They had the deal made before they, <laughs> they even got down there. That was the deal. <laughs> now, the, these the attorneys, their attorneys are officers of the court. They they're members of the court, just like everybody else. What is that? I can't see it. That's Deanna's count one, count oh. one, and count count two. Sale of methamphetamine in Lowndes County. Okay. I'm gonna send you a picture of is it. Is that the dog that she was selling for Rebecca? To, right? Supposedly. Supposedly, yes. Uh huh. And and this is her sentencing I order right here, where she got. So Becky had. <laughs> this is uh. I don't know about that. You know, I don't know how that is. I thought that was double jeopardy. Actually, uh, this what? is her sentencing order. Uh huh. Deanna's sentencing order. Yeah. Order where she got adjudicated probation for two yeah. sales charges. Yeah. And Becky got 24 years for um, the, three sale charges. The same dope. The same deal. It was, uh, and she never had the dope. She never made the sale. The snitch never talked to her. The, a snitch sold dope to a snitch. Both of them said uh, Rebecca Baumgartner was behind it. <laughs> so, uh, right. folks, you can't make this up. And they, there's not any more to this story. There's not something that we're just not telling. I'm sure Scott right. Rome and Eddie Hawkins and the Sting Unit would tell you, well, they're not telling you everything. Well, I, no, we're not giving right. four days it's worth of BS record. of all this crap of, of of what you think and what you observe and all this other stuff. Hmm. If somebody's breaking the law, it, it, it's your job as, as a cop to catch them. They don't catch them. They, get, they sit on their asses right. and let these rats do it. Make too it lazy. Up. Well, Karen, just too fat make it make it happen. <laughs> work your work your magic, and so catch them, arrest right. them, and then we've got due process the system. But uh, don't uh, right. just manufacture this deal. So they didn't catch her. So they probably spent right. four days of all these things that she supposedly did, and uh, and and the jury probably said, "Well, she's just a managed to society." I'm sure. To, for her to got that much time, it, yeah. just, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. They spent more time, DA, Ben Rush, spent more time 
bashing Rebecca, showing they small got, listen, little Rebecca clips. Rebecca pissed of them off for her channel. Her now, I know channel. that she did. That's right. Her YouTube channel. And and oh, they, Lord. You know, those, she, those I don't know what I've done to them. Were, she is not near those, as abrasive as me, so I can imagine. Uh, I, I get warm on the forehead, and I feel like it's a laser target on my forehead. That's what you're going to have to do, boys. But uh, they, uh, and, and that's why I have to be vocal, and I encourage other people to be vocal. We make these Brady complaints, these public integrity complaints. Right. And we document these things right. that's going on because if if you sit back and you don't do anything and something does happen, you end up with life in prison or dead, nobody will ever know. They'll never be held accountable. And and uh, this, right. is, this has to change. And we're going to do something. How old is your mother, April? My mom is 70. She was born in 53. I think she's 70. Okay. So, uh, and a few years ago. Hey, she might be 72. If y'all watch the, uh, uh, the, the last uh, uh, show we did, her mother got on there on the tail end. And she mm -hmm. told about this uh, uh, task force over in Alabama. It's just across the line there. We kicked the door in. They beat the hell out of her. Beat the hell out of you. I just found out today, out of April. And, hey, uh, Richard. Huh? Richard didn't tell you. Lowndes County, Daryl Neighbors with Lowndes County Sheriff's and Lowndes Department. Lowndes County was over. They crossed the line. Was the head of. Involved, it? Yes. And, yeah, and you yeah. posted pictures. That on... was in 2018. February she posted pictures on TikTok, TikTok with the bruises and all. Oh, my oh, they took that down. Oh no, can't do that. But we're we're gonna put it up. We're gonna put it up. Uh, they they're <laughs> not gonna. Uh, TikTok <laughs> is. I mean, you put ass clowns on there, and every objectionable, damnable right. abomination known to man right. is on there. But you put something right. on there that's even remotely right. true. Oh Lord, we can't have that. We can't have it. That's a crime. Right. We, we're going. We're definitely, definitely going to talk mm -hmm. about that. And so, we've got several. Right. The, the, to bring everybody up up to snuff on this, uh, Rebecca has been locked up for two years, and uh, I'm telling you, Lowndes County, Scott Cologne, and uh, whoever is that, what, whatever you said his name was. Uh, Rush, Benjamin Rush. Ben Rush. And Eddie Hawkins. Mm -hmm. Y'all have been able to enjoy uh, everything just staying like it is and can't nobody do nothing. This is not going down like that, I assure you. It, we ain't going down without a fight. It, people are sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of hearing it. I don't know how many people I talk to that I get messages from people that have been uh, wrongfully convicted Propped up evidence, murders. And I mean, I don't, how many I've covered, April? People get murdered in broad daylight, mm -hmm. 20 witnesses, and the prosecutor, no bills in mm -hmm. night. We just didn't have mm -hmm. enough evidence. <laughs> I mean, it only slammed, <laughs> but, but I, I, this is a fact. This is a fact. Uh, in Chickasaw County, uh, Malcolm King Boone was shot in the forehead, point blank, multiple witnesses, seen the man, right? He's all standing there. And uh, that man's hmm. still walking away, walking free. Malcolm, six foot in the grave. And he w wasn't a troublemaker, never been in hmm. trouble with the law, worked every day, paid his bills. And so a drunk hmm. man come over there and accused him of he, what he was talking about. But he was sure he was guilty hmm. of something. And he tried to walk away. When he turned around, he shot him and blew his brains out. This they no building that couldn't indict him. April. Now mm. that makes you wonder uh, how they can take somebody. Uh, Rebecca didn't do anything. They didn't like her, and uh, somebody else. All we need is somebody said you told her to do it. We'll, we'll do the rest. <laughs> they manufacture these right. cases, but the real cases they either won't investigate them. Or they won't prosecute them. They won't prosecute them. All right. R Ryan Taylor, come up <laughs> missing. We know there was a flying ointment and all kinds of 
screw it, crap with that. The car, the body, nothing's ever been found. The sheriff's department, MBI, had done a damn thing, but give lip service to the family and said, well, we don't know. And that's whatever that report was right. the, from day one, a missing person, blah, 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 blah. That ain't changed unless they parroted it a year late, still looking for him, blah, blah, blah. Ain't nothing changed. And we know that uh, they, they well, has a I, lot of uh, problems with it, you know. Especially uh, Kevin Forrester retired and got a nice custom built house on the cheap. The house that they got <laughs> all busted in, you know. And uh, folks, this is the dirty South that ever was. You can't make this stuff up. I love it when they say they're going to get MBI. Mm. That's standard procedure. When somebody dies in the jail, MBI is going to investigate. People say that good. Good, my ass. They, they, you know what they investigate? They they come Preaching. up there and sign off on it and leave, huh? Okay, because because Eddie used he used to work for MBI. I know they all is all the good old boy club. <laughs> exactly, I've been well aware of that. Ask Clowns, before he all was way the sheriff, Jackson. he was the head of MBI. All the way to Jackson, <laughs> all the way to Jackson, mm. and 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 you know it's just uh, it, it's a shame. And this is not it's all about who you isolated know. cases. We've got Lee County, <laughs> <you>? Mississippi, <laughs> the sheriff here. I read an article where this uh, organization came to Lee County and found three cockfighting rings, buildings, the, the, the chickens and the people gambling and fighting them things. That's illegal. They informed the sheriff and sent him a letter, said, we, we expect you to shut these down and prosecute these people. Well, he didn't give them the courtesy of, of a phone call, writing back or nothing. It, what they didn't know is that's his boy. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's chicken fighting. Yeah, but it's illegal, but hey, we're in the South and they ain't hurt nothing. You know, right. they pick and choose. You know, right. they pick and choose. And, that's and, right. In fact, they murdered the uh, Sheriff Harold Ray Presley 20 years ago where he could get that job as Sheriff. Uh that deal, they just buried that yeah. along with it. You know, we, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, we, we're in, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the mafia hadn't got anything on the dirty south. I'm going to end it with that. <laughs> so, uh, right. uh, April, uh, I appreciate what you're doing down there. I really do. And, uh, if everybody knows that, uh, April has had to pick up the slack and try to tie up loose ends of, of the things that Rebecca had going on. And April's not going to be mm -hmm. out there, as far as I know, uh, doing any audits or, no. or film or anything <laughs> like that. You mm -hmm. don't want to go to jail, do you? <laughs> it, that's I what, don't. <laughs> that, that'd be what it is, folks. You, Even though it's, it's, it, it's legal and we have that First Amendment protected free speech. Part of our Constitution. Exactly. Right. But, but here's the thing, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't care about not it. Not here. It, it, you it may be right. Mm -hmm. But they can get you in jail for a long time and make you lose everything before you'll ever be able to exercise that right. And because they've got qualified right. immunity, that prosecutor's got judicial immunity, these assholes are run amok on what they're doing and trampling over the Constitution. That's We're right. going to hold them accountable because it, it, I want Scott Clum to know that he is not protected by judicial immunity when he knowingly and willingly put perjured testimony on that witness stand. That's what's coming out. It's right. not he thought she was telling the truth and didn't know any better. That's baloney there. He knew it was a lie. They all knew it was right. a lie. And so uh, uh, I'm going to put uh, Rebecca's link to her channel on there. Uh, at Mississippi Queen Audits, it's Lowndes County Accountability. If you want to see some of those videos, and here's a good one. There's one video in there where uh, she was talking. They told her to shut up. She wouldn't shut up. I've got a copy of the arrest warrant here, the, the, the thing. And they arrested her and it said on there because she wouldn't stop talking. And she got charged <laughs> and convicted for that. That's one of them. In, in another video, you'll see where they're shaking her down and they take her cell phone. You know, she films with that. She's communicating with people on it. Where's my phone? Give me my phone. She's saying all this in it. Well, after this ends, she goes to jail. Where's my phone? 
we don't have your phone. We gave it to your dad. Well, that was a damn lie. Just recently, uh, April and it got on. Go, it was Google, wasn't it? And and tracked that phone. Yeah, I, I, the dad's I broke... phone went uh -huh. one direction, due west. Rebecca's phone went the other direction, or, or due east. The other one went due west. They they stole the phone, Eddie Hawkins, your sting unit stole this auditor's equipment because you didn't like what she recorded. Mm -hmm. This is a pattern right. of corruption, of suppressing, hiding, covering mm -hmm. up, and tampering with evidence. And God forbid somebody's willing to stand up that's got a backbone instead of a wishbone and call them on the carpet. And that's our job. They don't understand. They work for That's us, right. April. They, we don't work for them. Yeah, they, do. they pull you out. Where are you going? They ain't none of your damn business where I'm going, okay? Uh, how long I'm going right. to stay? Where in the hell are you going? I'm paying for that car right. and outfit <laughs> and all that uh, combat crap that you got on there. I don't know why for you to pull me over and ask me where I'm going. They don't understand. You work for the taxpayer. <laughs> not... Uh, right. or anything else and when the, when your employer that's us have questions then by god you're going to answer them one way or another you're going to answer them right you can't lock and kill everybody right you, you're going to answer them and so that's what we're doing <laughs> anything else you want uh add april other than folks y'all need to share this encourage you to share it we want people to be aware of rebecca's story there's another Please video share. what they what has yeah. happened to her could happen to you Anywhere in America. And if we don't That's stand right. up for these things and fight these things and take a stand and make the complaints and document what's going on and contact the right people to have these and to to reverse these things, we're just gonna have more of the same. We're gonna have more more of the same. We have judges and prosecutors that are out here doing whatever they uh -oh. want to do. But no, not, my internet quit not, here. It has nothing to do with the rule of law. What happened? Huh? Are we still there? My line came up and said we, our connection was lost. May have lost her. Hey, you're being real still. We've lost her. Well, folks, that's, uh, they've interfered with it. I'm getting all signals here on the Wi-Fi. And uh, this is uh, par for the course. When, you, when you're exposing these three-letter agencies, She's calling me now. It's uh, let's see here. About three letter agency, Department of Justice is on me like white on rice. And these <laughs> pathetic, miserable pathetics uh, can't get off the gas. I'm not gonna get off the <laughs> gas. April, I appreciate you. God bless you. God and, bless you uh, too, folks. Y'all, uh, y'all share this video, subscribe, share it on Facebook. They hate the truth. And when if you're on Facebook anywhere, share it to your groups and your friends. And, right. and share our content. Until next time, God bless you. I've seen, I, we're still recording. I don't know if we yeah. are or not. Yeah, we are. All right, mm -hmm. folks. We are going to stop it there. Until next time, God bless you.